Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Teddy Covers and Tony Mejia of Sports Memo and WagerTalk.com. We are talking the Cotton Bowl Classic, boys. We got SEC versus Big 12 here, Teddy. The Florida Gators, minus two and a half or minus three point favorites here. 72 high total here with the Gators going against the Sooners. What are you thinking here, Teddy? I can't lay points with the Gators in this game, flat out. You know, <laughs> when you think about how Florida's season has gone, let's start with a point spread perspective, all right? The last four games, they had the game against Kentucky that pushed at minus 24. Remember, the Gators were trying to punch in that last touchdown, got stuffed at the one. They had the Tennessee game, again, where it showed the markets might have this Florida team valued about as highly as they can value them. Failed to cover, played a dead second half in that contest, didn't sniff a point spread cover down the stretch. Next game. They play LSU, you throw the shoe, and you lose outright a 23-point chalk in that ball game. Then they cover in a loss against Alabama in the SEC title game, but obviously the defense got gashed in that contest. So we have a Florida team that's only covered as a dog of late. All right, they've been failing to cover as chalk. They're not playing anywhere near the ball they wanted to be playing. They're going to be missing. I mean, when you talk about Pitts as a tight end, it was a nightmare matchup for everybody. What's he have? 770 yards, 12 touchdowns this season. He lit up Alabama. He's not playing in the bowl game, which leaves Trask without arguably his uh, favorite target. Uh, and it's uh, an Oklahoma team that all they've done since those two early season losses is win games and cover points. They didn't play a great second half against Iowa State, uh, but I think the Sooners are the better of these two teams. I expect them to be the better of these two, these two teams in this bowl game. I like Oklahoma plus the points, and I'm not convinced they're going to be underdogs by the time this game kicks off. We'll have to see who else opts out over the course uh, of the next week because, obviously, with all these games, the opt-outs are significant issues. The loss of Shane Beamer and the coaching staff I don't think is a huge deal for Oklahoma in this particular spot. Uh, and, yeah, they lost what the senior quarterback, Trey Brown, said that he wasn't going to play. But when you think about how good this Sooners defense has been down the stretch, and Alex Grinch made it very clear it's going to be a next man up mentality. Um, I don't think there's going to be an enormous drop off from Oklahoma without their star corner, uh, despite him opting out prior to the bowl. Like the Sooners here. Good stuff, Teddy. Liking the Sooners and sooner rather than later because we got uh, about a week until this kickoff. So, uh, Teddy, thinking the money will come in on the Sooners, making some good points. Why, Tony, coming over to you, we got this, uh, what, the Cotton Bowl here in uh, near Dallas, Texas, uh, the house that Jerry built, Oklahoma and Florida. What are you thinking here? Well, first, uh, birthday shout out to my favorite Gator, uh, but I think she'll be disappointed because with Kyle Pitts out, it looks like uh, it's Kadarius, Tony, and company. And uh, from what I understand, Kyle Trask, the Gators quarterback, he did his availability pulling over on the side of the road uh, and said that there will be a lot of weapons we'll get to know in this game, uh, even with Pitts gone. Uh, but, yeah, this, this Oklahoma defense really improved over the second half of the season. Uh, they were the, the focal point of that team where typically – uh, it's it's the Sooners offense that we're talking about, and they bring Spencer Rattler into this one, Ramondre Stevenson, Marvin Mims, all young guys who have a future in the program, so they won't be opting out. So for that reason alone, I'm with Teddy and, and really liking Oklahoma here. Uh, but you can't touch it early, even, even getting points, because who knows who opts out. And that's really the key with all this bowl season is figuring out who is going to play as early as possible and getting on the best number. Um, you know, Kyle uh, Trask is a Houston native. Uh, he'll have people in, in attendance in this bowl game. I think he'll try to show out and play well. Uh, you know, there's SEC pride, obviously, at stake, too, for, for the Gators. Uh, but Oklahoma plays multiple games at the Cotton Bowl, uh, you know, per season almost, it, it feels like. So they'll have familiarity in their, in their uh, back pocket. I think Oklahoma wins outright. Uh, give me the points if possible. All right, liking the underdog in this one, at least the underdog as we're talking now about a week out from the game, guys. You can get uh, Oklahoma plus two and a half, even plus three right now as we're talking. But guys, you see it on the bottom scroll there. You can use the coupon code ho 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 for a big discount on the seven day all access package and the handicapper of your choice. Good at both websites, sportsmemo and wagertalk.com.